Hello everyone, welcome back to Empatronics. In this video, we are going to see how to interface the SD card with STM32. In this video, we have used STM32F103C8T6 blue pill board. You can also use any other STM32 boards. We have tested with STM32F4, STM32F7, many microcontrollers. You can also use the controller that you have. And you must have a SD card reader and USB to serial converter. This is used for debug prints. Okay. Already we have posted the tutorial in our website. If you don't want to see this video, you can always free to go and see this uh, web, web link. I have given the link in the description. So if you want to take the entire project, we have given this uh, project in the GitHub. You can take this project. Okay. So first we will create a new project. Just click uh, new and create STM32 project. Here provide your microcontroller that you are using. I am using STM32 F103 C C8 T6. Okay, just select that and here click next. Give your project name STM32 SD card. Okay, click next. Okay, keep one thing in your mind. Here I'm using default location so that it will be stored in my workspace. If you want this project to be stored in the specific location, you can always uncheck this and you can put the project into your desired location. So click next and copy only the necessary library files. Just click finish. So it will create a project for us. Okay, we got the project. So in this SD card uh, interface, we are going to use the SPI connectivity. So click connectivity and enable the SPI2. You can also use SPI1 all. Just enable this, this full duplex master. So that it is using PB13 to PB15. Now we will have to use a chip select. I am just going to use PB12 as a chip select pin. Click and set GPIO output. Okay, then we are going to use user1 for debugging purpose. Just select this, select as asynchronous. So PA9 will act as a TX and PA10 will act as a RX. Okay. After that, click middleware and click the fat of us. Check this user defined box. Just enlarge it. Okay, here you can find use yellow fun. Just enable this so that we can use the long file names in our memory card. And Set this max SS as a 4096. So our maximum sector size will be 4096 and minimum will be 512. Just save this. It will auto generate the code for us. Okay, the code is ready. Now we will follow this tutorial. Okay, we will come to the connections later. Now we will have to create the new file under that core inc. Okay, we will create a new file core inc. Right click new header file. Just give fat of fat of us. core h. Okay. The file has been created and we will copy that code. Just copy this code and paste it there. Okay, just save this file. Then we will have to create another file in under the source directory. Fact of us st code.c. Okay. Go to this. 
we'll have to copy this code paste it here save this so we have created two new files now we will modify the existing file go to the file called stm32f11xxit just copy this code source yeah this this file and check for the cystic handler so place your code inside this so whenever you are adding new code in the auto generated file so you will have to make sure that add your new code under that user code begin and user code end okay so we have added this code just save this next we will have to include this fat of us uh, header file that we have created just open this user disk ivo file fat of us target user disk ivo.c here we will include that file that we have created and the next is copy this line and paste it paste it to this function it is actually dummy so we are going to replace this dummy code with our original code we like that we will have to replace for all the all other functions so user status just copy this go to the user status function just replace our code with this okay next user read copy this go to the user read and just paste this then user write okay then iocetl user iocetl function okay save this file so that's all we have made all uh, all our changes go to the main.c file so we are going to use print of like function just include this header file include this stdio.h and string.h file and copy this entire function and paste it between the user code begin and end user code begin for and user code begin end okay now whenever we are calling the printf in our source code so it will automatically call this function and it will transmit the characters to the uart1 so that we can see the debug prints okay that's all we are already we have completed all the necessary steps only thing is we are going to use the fat of us file system okay in our website i have given this example so first we are going to mount the sd card check the sd card capacity and free size create a new file write the data into the file close that file then again we are opening the file read the data from that file which we have written in this step and close the file delete the file if you want but in the code we have not we are not going to delete the file unmount the sd card okay so this code this complete function will do that just copy this code and paste it under the user code begin okay we will have to create a function prototype for this just copy go to the top of this file and user code begin function prototype just place it here and create a function prototype now we can call this function so i am going to call this function here before while loop okay so whenever the function is uh, i mean whenever the main function starts it will call the initiate it initializes the peripherals and it will initialize the fat of us as well then it will we are calling the process sd card so if you see that function here we are mounting the sd card 
okay and we are getting the free size and the total size of the sd card we are opening that file called embatronics.txt if the file is not present we are creating the file okay. then we are writing the data welcome to embatronics then after that we are closing the file and we are reopening it again we are reading the content from that file and we are displaying that then if you want to delete that file you can just enable this by placing f1 but i don't want to enable this just i have commented this okay then we are unmounting the sd card okay that's all let's build this code okay there is a one error is that okay this this one we forgot to delete just delete this as well okay now rebuild it again okay one more error is there false where it is okay false is there but we have not in added the header file just include that header file just the bool.h Okay. Now re recompile it again. Okay, too many errors, man. So we have created this variable uh, inside this. So we have created it, but we have to tell this file that this variable has been created already. Just uh it defines private macro private variables okay just create the extend okay now recompile it again yeah so we have built uh, the project it is successful so before we start this we will have to format the SD card in a FAT32 FAT form. So just insert the SD card into the system. Just right click, format and make sure you are using FAT32 and allocation unit will be 4096 bytes and click start. So format has been completed. Now we can take out this memory card and we can insert into the SD card reader. Now we will run the code. Just connect the STM32 with the JLink and connect the USB to serial converter as well. So we have given the connection diagram in this. So SPA, we are, as we are using SPA two, so those MOSI, MISO uh, clock pins are in PB12 to PB14, 15, and we are using user one. So PA9 and PA10, we are going to connect with the USB to serial converter. Once you connect that, just run this code. So it will flash the code in our STM32. Just open the Terra term. You see, SD card mounted successfully. Total space is this many bytes. Free space is this this many bytes. Right data. So after that we are cl closing, right? Then we are opening the file and reading the data. So welcome to Embatronics is there. Then closing that file and unmounting the SD card. Now we will take out the SD card from the SD card reader and we will insert into that uh, laptop. If you see there is a file called embatronics.txt as created. So open this, welcome to embatronics. So we have written, we have created a new file in the SD card and written that welcome to embatronics in that file. There are multiple ways to flash your STM32, right? The, we can use the system bootloader. If you, if you are using system bootloader, we can use UART1. 
using that we can flash the code by changing the boot boot pins or if you are using st link uh, programmer then no need to change the boot pins just connect and flash it okay so here we are just we are using st, ST link so we have just directly we are running from here okay i hope this video will be helpful for many in if you see our website we have plenty of uh, tutorials in our website okay you you can come and see these tutorials and you can learn these topics so thanks for watching uh, we will see you in our next video